Tech at the Voxel Lab is really engaged with this idea of how do creativity, engineering, and musical practice come together. For many of our students, they have an understanding of computational systems or they have an understanding of mechanical or electronic design that they very naturally want to use to create things. I mean, we're really here to support them in that. Whether it's people coming in and you know adding electronics to an acoustic instrument, or people coming in and designing you know modifications or hacking on existing electronic music systems, or people coming in and creating something brand new from the ground up, it's amazing for students to come and be able to follow their own creative muse. The funny thing about music tech is that you're kind of pursuing two things at the same time. You're pursuing the like, can I make this technical system function and this pursuit of like, what could I create with this? You know, what is this inspiring right now as I'm listening to what it's doing? And sometimes they affect each other in ways that you are not really sure. Like, you know, you might kind of think that you broke something technically, but it ends up artistically being something really interesting. Currently, I am building a fuzz pedal that you hear in a lot of rock music and blues music. This is a funny discussion, the very fact that we're building a fuzz pedal because a fuzz pedal happened by accident. We you know, put too much power in something that didn't want that much power, and we were like, oh, that actually sounds kind of cool. And now we do it on purpose. This is, in its own way, a research lab, right? This is a lab that has a bunch of facilities for exploring, you know, technology and examining sort of things as they are in the process of being created. So the focus here is definitely on exploring what's new in exploring new possibilities. And that's actually a very easy thing to do, right? Like every small change that we make to an instrument dramatically transforms how that instrument might be appreciated and how that instrument might be used. Something like digital instrument design is a particularly challenging course because we're engaging with lots of different topics. We're engaging with electronics and working with sensors. We're engaging with programming. And then we're engaging with sound design and performance. <laughs> So I've been working on a capacitor harp on version 4.3. It's a stringed instrument where each string like maps to a different voice, a different pitch. And the strings are actually wires which use capacitive sensing to change the amplitude of each voice. I made this because I wanted to make something that's capable of polyphonic sound. But I'm a violinist myself, so I'm really used to you know one, one note at a time, or maybe two if I want to spice things up. And I made my instrument so you can change the scale in real time to adjust to whatever piece you're playing with. So maybe when I'm DJing, because uh, I'm also a DJ, I can switch to whatever key the piece is in and play along with it. My instrument is called Marbleless in the nature of like fun and play. It's supposed to be the idea of a Rube Goldberg music maker, where the marble kind of rolls down and triggers each successive little sequence. My little marbles right here are magnetic, and if they do come close to one of the reed switches, what happens is the sensors trigger the Arduino, which sends messages to Python, which sends messages to GarageBand to make the sound happen. I'm not a music tech major, I'm a computer science and math major, and this was something that I took for fun. I deal with so much numbers and code all the time, but I don't really deal with code that makes music. And so it was a really cool experience to get to try that out for the first time. Let me make this a little bit more obnoxious. In some ways, Voxel is as much a makerspace as it is just a playground where you're not really expected to fit one discipline or one mold, which is really useful to someone like me who loves to combine all my different interests. Like, I love visual art, I love sewing, I love fabricating things, but also I'm a musician. It's a very inspiring environment. It encourages us to think about perception. When we're engineering systems, we're embedding within them the ideas and the concepts that we're using to frame the world. And I really love to see students, you know, get an awareness of that and see them really push their own boundaries in terms of what is possible and what is beautiful. Some of the projects that come out in the digital instrument design in particular can be extremely experimental and present extremely different views of what a musical performance might be. And really, when you get to the point when you can find 
the strengths of an instrument which come out of its idiosyncratic qualities, you know, that's when you're really going to find something special. And when you can find a way of expressing your own sort of sense of musical meaning and musical structure through that, that's when you get to real moments of beauty.